Hello from Waves and hello from SlideNerd. What's up folks? In this video, I'm going to talk about inter-fragment communication design patterns in Android. When is the situation when we need to communicate between two fragments? How to communicate between two fragments without containing direct references to each other? We are going to see this in this video. So the first question that probably arises is, well, why do I need this? Think about this. You have a fragment A. It contains a button. When the user clicks on the button inside fragment A, you want to perform some changes inside fragment B. How do we do this? That is why we need this design pattern. And you will be tempted to have a reference to fragment 2 inside fragment 1 so that you can directly make some changes. But don't do that because that causes tight coupling which means your fragments won't be reusable in a different scenario or you can say under a different activity later when you need to do it. The main idea behind fragments was reusability of course so that you can have the same fragment under several activities if you want. So create an interface that contains a method which will act as an event carrier. Now this is the design pattern. Create an interface that contains a method blah blah blah. Let the activity implement that interface which means the activity needs to override that method which is Java property you know that. You implement the interface you override the method. Simple as that. So let fragment 1 use the interface to send messages to the activity so inside the activities method that belongs to the interface you can get a reference to fragment 2 and perform the essential changes now this is the overall picture of the design pattern and i know very well that if you're a beginner and you're seeing this you have not understood one word about what i have said so far so let me go to the next slide and show you exactly what i mean so i have a fragment a main activity and a fragment b and I have an interface called communicator. What I want to do is communicate or send a message from fragment A to fragment B using this interface. Now as we mentioned earlier, we are not going to have direct reference to fragment B inside fragment A. So how do we do this? Very simple. You have this method respond which is going to act like an event or data carrier between fragment A and fragment B. And we will see how this works. So your class main activity extends activity. It implements communicator. So as soon as I write this statement, you know very well that I need to override the method respond inside my activity. So I'm going to say public void respond string data blah blah blah. Fragment A, I define it first. I go and define fragment B first. Here, inside my fragment B, I have a method called change data. Now this change data method is going to perform some change on the UI of fragment B. It again has a string data parameter and I will get to that or you will know that why soon. What I do now is I use the Java property which says interface reference variable can refer to a subclass object. Now if you notice in our case an interface reference variable would be communicator com. The class main activity implements the communicator which means it's a subclass object so I can have a reference of the subclass object assigned to com by saying com equals to a. Now notice that I have this activity a which comes as part of the on attach which is my lifecycle method. I get the reference to the main activity. I type cast that reference to a communicator and store it inside com. Now again you have a question saying why the hell did you do this? Don't worry you will get to that. Now let's say I have a button inside my fragment a. So when the user clicks on the button, on click will be triggered, right? Inside the on click, now notice very carefully, I will say com dot respond. Now when I have interface reference variable pointed to a subclass object, I can call a method that belongs to the interface through the subclass, which means when I say com dot respond, it's directly gonna say, okay, who is the subclass? It's main activity. What is the respond method? It's right here and it's going to call this method. Now notice the button was clicked string is passed from fragment A inside my main activity over here. And now I can simply get fragment B from here and pass the data, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say fragment B F2 is fragment manager dot find fragment by ID. Remember this is a simple method to locate fragment B and I can directly say f2 dot change data now notice button was clicked goes here to string data this data is passed over here to fragment 2 
and ultimately it comes over here to change data and here I can make changes to the UI to fragment B and this is how the communicator design pattern works for communicating between two fragments. The best part, I don't have a reference to fragment B here anywhere in fragment A. I don't have a reference to fragment A here anywhere in fragment B. That means I have, I have avoided tight coupling. I can reuse the fragments in different scenarios and I have ensured maximum reusability. So I hope you guys have understood something about how fragments communicate with each other in this video. In the next video, I'm going to go to Android Studio and show you how this communication works. Later, we will talk about a design pattern called the master slave design pattern where I have a list fragment on the left side and based on the item I select on the right side, I make an appropriate change to the other fragment that again depends on the same design pattern which we have talked about here. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.